And welcome everybody. Hello, hello. This is uh, Peli Dalu from Seattle in the Mako team with Nell. And what are we doing today, Nell? We're going to be doing the flower trail. We are going to be doing the flower trail. Make sure you. We're going to be doing the flower trail. Okay, so here we are in Minecraft Education Edition, and you can download and try out this version of Minecraft. If your school has Office 365, you can do all the activities we're doing today in there. If it doesn't, if your sign in doesn't work, um, then uh, there's a link in the video that uh, explains you how to turn this on for your school. And also something worth mentioning, you can play online with your friends uh, and your classmates using your account. You just have to host. You have to host. Okay, so today, uh, are we changing our... Per, uh, Person, yeah. Yeah, let's change this. So the wizard, her, uh-huh, uh-huh, Halloween, let's go. Yeah. It's a creeper, see? Creeper. Confirm. Confirm. Let's play. And today we're going to do flower trail, so we're going to be going into create new, hold on. Create new, yep, uh, let me see, wait a second, create new, and we're going to do templates, and we're going to create a block of grass. Blocks of grass. Create new. Okay, okay so play. Yeah. Wait, I'm not sure it's going to be always day, but we can just always have that. Right? Uh, I don't think it's always day, but that's fine. We can, actually we can use code to do that. Yeah. So we'll show how to do that too. Or you can just go on settings and do it. Or you can go in settings and do it too. Wait, where are you? Oh. Ooh, we're in World Minecraft. So, to, uh, how do we get into coding? We get into coding by pressing C. Oh, wait. Do, where do we go? Oh, wait, so this is um, Microsoft Make Code. This is Make Code, but if you click on the, the upper button. So if, if it's your first time, uh, you're going to oh. click OK. OK. Yeah. You're okay. going to land here, yeah. And Microsoft Make Code is what we're using. We're using Microsoft Make Code today. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to be doing Flower Trail. Flower Trail. See, there's a bunch of tutorials, and today we're doing Fire Trail. And you can actually do the tutorial in different languages, but we are doing it in blocks today. <clears throat> oh, yay! It's actually quite useful, because if you're lost, just fly, follow the trail of flowers. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is a tutorial in make code and you're going to see the instructions on the top and then you try to do the instructions if you're stuck you can click on the hint on the hint and it'll tell you what to do Ooh. Yeah. i just clicked it to show oh. click on get on player walk and put it in the workspace since we're not going to be using the other ones we're going to drag them out yeah and how about we uh zoom in yeah let's put a block so we know how big it is this yeah. is good, right? Yeah, this is good. Maybe zoom in it one more time. All right. So we can really see our code. Okay. Looks like we've done this step. So we're going to go to the next step. Get a place and put it inside on player walk. Change the grass block to dandelion in choice of blocks. The numbers 0, 0, 0 mean the flowers will be placed at your current position. Show, so... So, wait, every position you walk gets a flower. Uh-huh, all right, let's see. Okay, let's start again. So we're oh. looking for a place block and it's green. So we're going into, okay, um, let's move it out. There it is. There it goes. Okay, and it says when the player is walking, place a block off. That looks, doesn't look like a flower. Uh, let's see. So dandelion. Pick, oh, you can pick any flower you want. Um, I like these. Azure, bluet. 
but they're big bushes. Yeah. They seem like them. And zero, zero, zero is really the position around you. So it's the distance from your player in 3D in Minecraft. Yes. Can we if, try it out? Yeah, we can try it out. So we just hit the green, the big green button, or we just click in the world. And then let's... So now let's maybe walk backwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's actually working. So what's going on is every time you you walk, the code in the walk event is going to run. I'm going to try something. Underground flowers? Oh, you want to do a flower pot? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe they don't like... Did they? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Here they are. This one worked. Okay, well, my experiment has worked. What were we trying to do? Uh, we were, I, I was trying to see if it would plant there. It just can't. If you're going in water, it won't plant. This is it a bit. Um, it's sad. Okay, let's try it. Let's uh, actually, let's keep going in the coding. Okay. And to go back to coding, we're going to press C. Yay. Okay. So step three looks done. <clears throat> Let's have more flowers at another place and put it just below the other one. Change the grass block to an oxide daisy. Oxide daisy. Or just another flower. <clears throat> oh, just another flower. Or you... Yeah, that's good. And that's interesting. You can sequence blocks one after the other and make code will run them one each, one after each other. Yeah. Let's see. Which flower is pretty? Oh, an oxide daisy. A blue orchard. Okay, yeah. this is pretty actually. There we go. So every time we're gonna walk, we're gonna place now. I wanna try it. Two flowers. Let's try it. And if, every time you make a change in your program, it's a good idea to try it. Debug it. Oh yeah, it actually works. But there's more ox. Uh, there's more. It's kind of random. You're moving while you're placing flowers. I know. Right. That's, uh, oh, like it's starting to look good. Ooh. Oh, you could draw stuff on the ground by oh, walking that's around. Smart. But if you don't want to draw, you have to fly. Yeah, if you fly, because you're flying, the code doesn't run and you're not. Ugh. Okay, that was jarring. Yeah, sorry. Let's go back to the code. Let's okay, see what, what else we can do. What else do we have to do? Go to. Okay, we've done that. Go to Minecraft and start walking, turn around. We've done that. Now that's very nice, but would it be fun to place a whole bouquet while you walk? Copy one of the place, insert the copy into a player walk, change the flower to a new block to a different one that you like. I think we're starting to get the... <laughs> Was it the one breather? Yeah. We're starting to get the, the picture here. Let's add another block. Another block? Yeah. Because oh. there's no other block. Well, no, not a flower. Yeah, exactly. there's only two options. Because we're in the tutorial. There's way more options when you leave. When you, the tutorial. When you click finish. Yeah. Okay, what other flower are there? You know, I like this pink tulip. There, let's go. And so we've... Uh, oh, sorry. We've done that. And probably the next step is going to be to run it. Run the code. Oh, I'm going to... Okay. Try to do a circle or a square. Okay. Well, that means we have to start at a fresh new spot. Okay, let's go to a fresh new spot. If only I could teleport. Oh, sorry. If only I could teleport. Maybe we should write code that teleports ourselves. Okay. We're there. Uh, go. That way. And then that way. I might have just done a rectangle. All right. Fly. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hard to see from the top. I think you have to move away. Side, we see it sideways. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, you could draw all kind of funny things there. Okay, let's see in the code what we have to do. What else? Okay. Go to Minecraft and see what your trail we looks did like. That yeah. already. Yay. In the first place, change the first zero to position to one. And in the third place, change the first zero position to one. Negative one. Now, you will, you will place, place the flowers in, flower in, in row, rows. So we're going to do this. One. And this is negative one. Negative one. Let's look at the lane. Do you have to do that for all the flowers? And here's a tip now. You can tab. So now do tab. Uh, 
with the tab key. Oh. Ooh, it goes to the next one. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty good. One. And tab. Tab? Ooh. No. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, in the first place, uh-uh, wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Let's undo it. Let's click on the undo a few times. There. Undo. There, there. there. It really helps that you click on the button. <laughs> what, was I not clicking on the button? <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. Okay, so what are we doing here? I mean, this is important to figure out what we're doing. We're, uh, we're moving them away from us on the east-west direction. Wait. East-west. Is this, wait, can I see yes. the hint? Oh, okay. I so understand this. Imagine instead of dropping them right under your feet, you're dropping them one here and then one here. Oh, and then the one there. To your sides. Okay. Now let's try this out. And now they're kind of scattered, see? Oh, yeah, they're doing bigger. a line. And it's, oh, ooh, it, it looks much it, better. It looks pretty. Yeah, it's much better because there's more. There's more space in between them. I'm like this. And they're perfectly aligned. Yeah, that's kind of messy because <laughs> they kind of overlap each other. This is. Pretty. Oh, that's pretty cool. We did like a few changes and. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what else we have to do. Because I've got some big plans for this flower trail. Let's see. Okay, I think we're done. Yay! And we finished the tutorial, and once you click the orange finish, it's going to open up all the code you can do. Oh, everything! We used to only have one. Yeah, now we have all these things. So, and that's great. So, how about we start modding this little Okay, program? so, I don't want to place flowers. All right, let's, let's get rid of the flowers. So okay. stuff that are fun to place are like sand, water, Fire. TNT, to name a few. Diamonds, rails. Rails are cool. We could do a rail system. Ooh, fire and TNT. That's going to be... That's... We better run fast. Or we could lay down lava. Now let's try this. Let's try again. You you really want to not... Oh! No! 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 Ooh. That... Oh! Ooh, it's not this... going to end up well. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, I didn't know this would happen. Jeez. Well, you're putting fire next to a TNT or lava. It's eventually going to blow up. This is why I'm running fast. <laughs> You're walking. You're not running. You it's going to catch us with us. Uh-oh. If that happens, you just have to fly. Now we've got like a whole bunch of lava. But the lava doesn't explode. No, it's a TNT that does. It's a TNT that does. Oh, my favorite trick with lava is you build a big post that's like sideways and then you just start dropping lava. How about we do a... Uh, we drop... There's something that's fun, for example. Oh, no. Let's do flying. Uh oh. So let's go back to the code. Okay. And instead of just doing walking, how about we do other ways of moving? Uh. Oh, there's all this stuff. So we can do swimming, falling, flying. How do you sprint. I think you do double, isn't it, with shift? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. But you need to first. Uh, and you don't have code that handles sprint because you didn't click on it. I know. Oh, sorry. Walk, I'm going to try sprint. Sprint. There you go. So sprint would be maybe shift. Well, I'm just going to first enjoy walking. With and walking does nothing now because we are not listening to that particular one. Or is it double forward and then? Yeah, double forward. Uh oh. And then you sprint. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. But you have to leave it on. You do. Doo -doo. That is not good. 
I've just noticed that I'm making like... You're messing up the world. If you're doing this mod, don't go in a world where you have a lot of cool stuff built. I, I really recommend no, uh, no, if using you're... a flat world first. No, but... Because you don't want to destroy the cool stuff you build. Well, they don't have to use DNT. And you don't have to use DNT or lava. They can or water. They can... But in general, if you're trying out some new code, uh, you might as well create a new world just in case, just in case things go go south. Look at that layer of lava. Yeah, good thing we're creative. Yeah. Right, Let's go back to the code. I want to show something that's really important. Uh, you can actually have multiple of these blocks for, so you can do something when you're sprinting, something when you're walking. I have an idea. Can you do it? Oh wait, you're, you were talking. Too. So how about we do something when we're flying too and sprinting? And walking. Oh wait, so when we're flying we add water. Stop. When we're flying we add water. Let's do that. Okay. So player. Player. Uh scroll down. Yes. Player walk. We want We want flying. Fly? And then flying or falling? Fall. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't read anymore. Flying. It's early. Blocks. We wanna place? Yeah, we're gonna place a block. And we want some water. 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 Yeah, search is useful. Water. Let's go. Let's try this. So now, whenever oh. you move, yeah. Uh oh. Whenever this you're is moving, good. you're doing rain. You're the rain person. No. Rainer, maker of rain, and then destructor. Rain it, rain it before it's too late. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh wow. Oh wow. We have some kind of fountains now. Oh, well, that's I funny. I never knew you could do that with water. Oh, you have like a. It's all kind of <gasps> it's funny. It's a water kingdom. It's a water kingdom. You're doing like a castle. Yeah. It's like an unfrozen, frozen kingdom. Have I done it? Oh, see. It's oh, it's gonna fill up. Is this gonna be a massive pool? Oh, and that's then all funny. I have to do is add tons of soul sand. I uh, know, and then I get a hot tub. All right. Well, that's actually a great, um, it's a great time to stop. And let's go back to the code and see what we've done today. Okay. I'm no longer flying. So. Oh, you're falling. <gasps> Maybe we should add fish too. Ooh. So when I fly, I add fish. But first, how I... about how about we go in the code and we spawn a fish as well? Wait, but first I gotta. I think you need to put fill for that, don't you? Really? No, you drop a water and then you put a fish at the oh. same time. Let's go back to the code. Okay. <laughs> okay, now? Uh, so how do we get a mob? Now it's only going to be <coughs> fish. Well, fish are not blocks. They are mobs. So we need to go in the mobs. And, and spawn. Sp yeah. We need to add tropical fish. Cod. Tropical. Oh, tropical fish. There we go. So now we're going to create Some a fish, fish and water. Oh, see my no tropical fish. Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to be a weird sea with like holes in it. If only you could spawn mermaids. I don't think we have mermaids. Oh. Well, we can just pretend the tropical fish are like. No, because you know the tropical fish, and then like in Ariel, there's the mermaids, and then this is his kingdom. This is going to be a very weird sea. Oh. <laughs> now let's go check this thing out. So I'm going to have to. How about you turn off the code first? Oh, yeah, you walk walk away. Walk doesn't do anything. No, it's sprint away. Oh, no, sprint does, sprint does lava. <laughs> and. Oh, and fly does Okay, this. let's look at the sea, and then that's going to turn off the video. Ooh. Well. Oh my god, it actually does look good. It does look good. It's kind of a weird pool, we may say. I don't know how I don't think the chicken cares, but... <gasps> I'm gonna go kill that chicken. Oh, it it burned itself oh. on the lava. Poor chicken. Uh-oh. All right. Well, that concludes the stream for today, and we'll be done uh, back tomorrow with some more actions and doing another tutorial uh, with my colleague here, Nell. Can I take what? the mouse now? I need to stop the stream. Okay.
Oh, yeah. I can. So go ahead and stop it. Press escape. Escape. 